Zebra says, what is the easiest way for us to have a meeting, but also print or export the notes? Many options to document, but not export. And this is a Teams question, by the way. Yep. Many options to document, but not export print. We need to do both. Looking for easy options as the committees have volunteer people, and it needs to be fast and easy and quick. I think there's a couple options that they can entertain. Uh, I think one of the more traditional approaches is to use the, the meeting notes feature, which is essentially OneNote inside of the meeting, transcribe your notes manually as you would as like a recording secretary type position in a type of board meeting environment. And those can be saved and printed through the browser if you're using the online tools. But there's other more advanced features, um, but we start to go into uh, an area that I've not used personally, but I'm aware of it, Teams Premium. Christian, have you had experience with Teams Premium? Yeah, you have, yeah, the, the, well, you've got the, the, the recap capability, um, which can produce kind of all the notes from that. That's something I've not played with yet. Um, but that's the, again, kind of the, that, that premium experience where mm -hmm. it pulls together all the notes, it pulls together the transcript and delivers all of those pieces to you. And then can even start to, to deliver, especially with some of the new co-pilot capabilities, um, uh, you know, a lot more value, um, uh, you know, post meeting, here's what happened. Here's specifically mm -hmm. norm, what you're assigned, how here's what you're assigned out of that. Um, you know, so that, that capability out of teams premium. Yeah. So if you're looking for the automated experience teams premium, um, otherwise, I mean, you've got some in between there, not around automation around the notes. I, I think norm, I mean, that's, that's what I've always done. Yep. We have shared notes, we capture the notes, yep. we co-edit together, and then you can print that out, save that down, export that, send it to people um, yeah. out of and, OneNote. And I'm sure we've all been on calls and the transcription service is running, which is great. But when you consider how most of us talk the volume of stop words, like the ums, the thes, the, the stutters that people like me will often do. And you try and read that through the transcript that all of that detail is there, but those stop words can really be overwhelming. And I, I don't know if transcription is Teams premium or if it's just a feature in Teams. I, I, it's I've a feature seen it in Teams now. Yeah. yeah it, so, so yeah, if you've got the, the ability, yeah, it, you can record the team, use the transcription, uh, you know, capture and send that out. But you're right. There's always some cleanup that needs to happen. Yep. It, and, you know, text transcription lacks context, whether I'm raising my hands or there's something on the screen that we're talking about. It's, it's only one facet of it. I think I would be inclined, if it's possible in this, uh, this meeting environment to export the video to stream, then you have the transcription, you have the video, and it's really a little more of a holistic thing. However, if it's a formal board setting and they have bylaws that they have to respect, then sure. But the meeting transcript and all of its ugly detail into the meeting minute notes and have fun reviewing that. You know, I will say that there are specifically you're talking about, I think this scenario that Deborah's asking is, is you know, for board. Like when you get to that level, there are third party products that build into Microsoft 365 that do specifically around board notes. Mm. In fact, I think there's a product out there called board notes yeah. um, that you can search for. Um, so, you know, depending on what you're looking for uh, and how automated you want that process to be, then you can look at Teams Premium, which will do a lot of those things, but you may still need to have process and steps around that. Or you can look to a third-party solution specifically designed for that purpose. Right. I don't know what those things cost, the integration issues you go through, um, support of that the product, kind of all those things. But again, if that's if you're looking for something that's that's automated, there are solutions out there. It's interesting because board 
board governance and how those meetings are run. This is not the first time that I've heard it come up inside of the Office 365, Microsoft 365 space, where people are trying to use Exchange, they're trying to use SharePoint or Teams, depending on where you are generationally in this story. And they try and take these tools, which should do everything they need on the surface, but because the, the governance of a board usually has certain like rules they have to follow, whether it's the agenda, the materials, the recording, all of these outputs being put into public or restricted areas or in camera, off camera subject, it really pushes the boundaries of what SharePoint is kind of intended to do. So you'll you often find organizers of these groups bumping into these walls where they're 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 just trying to get the transcript out. But now we're saying, you know, go get your checkbook out and get Teams Premium or or go get Copilot. And you know that those are those are not easy things to do for most organizations, even though the features there. So I've always find it interesting because it's those 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 groups or those activities that are bound by heavy process, due diligence, regulation, whatever you want to call it, they find the limits of what the technology can do very quickly. Um, not technical limits, but like the user experience limits. So uh, again, not my first time hearing about the board stuff, and uh, I'm not surprised that they're not finding an easy path forward for their particular need.